welcome to another episode the cleverness always have to win over creativity that, that is today's question being clever is not intelligent being clever is born of cleverness is born out of knowledge intelligence is born out of innocence so it is not a question of who wins but what is right action and what is reality intelligence leads to right action intelligence leads to reality so we will see from osho from his book the secret osho says people think they are clever the one who is clever is mostly stupid only the stupid has to show that he is intelligent the stupid has to show off create noise try to prove that he is intelligent but a intelligent person need not do anything he need not show off intelligence reveals the truth intelligence attracts the people so only who is not intelligent only who is stupid has to show up the man who understands never need to show up when the spring comes the tree is blossom the flowers come out the perfume of the flower spreads on the wind it is carried by the wind it attracts birds insects and the human being come to watch the beauty of the flowers and the beautiful smell which is spread everywhere no need to call the people no need to advertise the beauty comes on its own and the people come searching for us same as the intelligence no need to advertise when there is intelligence it attracts people the serenity attracts the people people come on their own no need to brag about that but a show of clever person has to show off try to show that he is clever he is knowledgeable but sometimes he will be caught people will understand that he is not intelligent just a clever person he has to make the noise but a intelligent person need not do that so again a story from is an story retold by osho time to die the master ikiyo was a very clever person even when he is in his childhood as a novice he was a master and the master had a teacup very precious antique teacup one day ikiyo went to the master's room and took the antique tea cup he was enjoying the beauty of it looking at it thoroughly but by mistake he dropped it accidentally and the tea cup broke into pieces and when the master came he asked the master he was hiding the tea cup he asked the master why people have to die the master said that is natural everything has to die it lives for a certain time then the body de- degenerates and it goes off 
that is the nature of everything in this world. It lives for some time, reaches its prime, declines and then dies. Then if you told the master, that's right, now it is the time for your teacup to die. It is dead, it is no more, it is into pieces. That is cleverness. With this we will end this episode. Stay with me for another episode. Subscribe to my channel, share this video. Thank you.